The European tour has been in the Middle East for the last three weeks. So as today's show is coming from Abu Dhabi, we caught up with the man responsible for designing some of the best courses in the region. Hi Golf and World, my name is Peter Haradin, Golf Course Architect. Uh, uh, please join me on this show and you'll hear my views about the golfing world. Peter Haradin has been designing golf courses around the world for over 40 years and has worked on more than 200 different layouts. The 70-year-old from Switzerland followed his father's footsteps by getting into course design and is now best known for helping golf grow in the Middle East with the creation of acclaimed courses such as the Doha Golf Club and the Abu Dhabi National Course. He's never too shy to offer his opinion on the key talking points in the game, so we quizzed him on everything from getting more youngsters into golf to former players designing courses. I'm a landscape architect, you know, so I mean, basically, you know, we learned all about soils and drainage and all that stuff. I mean, I've played many courses in my life, but uh, no, I try to be original. I try to, uh, to do something that, uh, uh, you know, that, that pleases me or, or I think would please the golfer, you know, but uh, and my son often says to me, you know, They've, did, they, they've done this there and there and they're copying what you're doing. I say, as long as they copy me, it's great. You know, the day they stop copying me, I've got a big problem. <laughs> Haradine's name has become synonymous with the start of each European tour season, as his courses host the HSBC Abu Dhabi Championship and the Qatar Masters. Both courses have become big favorites with the pros, but which does he prefer? Well, the National was a sold flat, you know, I mean, we didn't have a side to work with at all. I mean, in fact, the municipality leveled it off for us. Uh, so there was no contours whatsoever. It was completely flat. We brought in a lot of sand to raise it. And of course, you know, it's all artificial. What you see at the National is artificial. It was great because you could play God a bit, you know. Uh, I think its success is that it is not too difficult uh, and can be played by the normal player. You know, there's fairways are wide and uh, there aren't many hazards. I'm not into these crazy bunkers. I'm not into crazy bunkers at all, you know. In fact, I prefer to work with trees rather than bunkers. And, you know, there are courses where there's uh, 10 hectares of bunkers, you know, and that's for me is absolutely crazy. It was the first golf course in Abu Dhabi, so obviously it had to be something a bit unusual, you know, and uh, of course they were looking at Dubai as well, you know, so we had to create an iconic clubhouse because they had iconic clubhouses here as well. And I just tried to create something which was a bit unusual without really using the desert feeling. And you know, Sheikh Zayed, who was the ruler at the time, he was the biggest gardener in the UAE. He loved trees, he loved gardens and everything. So I tried to create a park, really, in honor of Sheikh Zayed, a golf course within a park. Professional golfers have become increasingly involved in creating new courses over the past two decades, but Haradine has turned down several opportunities to work with some of them and has missed out on being part of a number of projects as a result. I refuse to work with professional golfers uh, if I do the design and they say it's designed by them. I would look at working with a professional golfer if it's endorsed by them, they say on the plan, endorsed by them or approved by them, but not if I do the work and they sign it and say they designed it. Definitely not. And I've lost a lot of work because of that. Uh, there is a very famous story of, a, of an ex-golfer actually playing a, a fairway and, uh, and he was sort of criticising it and saying, well, this is not good enough. And the guy next to him said, you know, you designed this one here. So, uh, <laughs> you know, as far as I'm concerned, they are not stupid. It's the people who pay them who are stupid. You know, quite honestly, if somebody offers me two million just to sign a plan, why, why wouldn't I do it? Haradine's work is popular with pros and amateurs alike because of his belief that courses must be playable by golfers of all levels. He also has strong views on how the sport could attract more youngsters to pick up clubs and get out on the course. I think we should have less restrictions for the kids, you know? The kids don't want to go around, you know, wearing certain shoes and wearing certain T-shirts, wearing certain trousers and all that, you know? Let them get on there, let them enjoy, enjoy themselves, you know? Okay, when the old fogies play, play on the weekend, then, you know, they can all go around dressed up and everything. But on, during the weekday, especially on a Monday when there's nobody on a course, get the kids out there, let them play in whatever they want, you know? I don't think there's too much fun in golf, although I think golf is the best game in the world. So, after 40 years in the business, what would be Peter Haradine's perfect golf course? You know, I've never had a golf course by the sea, never. I mean, a nice golf course by the sea with cliffs and everything like that, you know, there's some great sights, you know, but I've never had one of those sights, unfortunately. So, yeah, I, I'm really hoping to get one of those sights before I, I stop. Actually, you know, the best thing would be a third, a third, a third, you know, a third by the sea, 
a third in the open and a third in the woods. It'd be great. <laughs>